there are three initiative questions on the November 6th ballot. Question one, so-called right to repair law, would require automakers to make their diagnostic and repair information available to the public. Question two would legalize euthanasia by doctors for terminally ill patients who request it. And question three would legalize medical use of marijuana to qualifying patients. Can you tell us briefly how you feel about each question? I, I voted yes in favor of all three. Uh, I believe the issue of the automobile uh, repair has already been settled. Uh, the second issue, uh, in the past I've agreed with Dr. Kevorkian. I feel people have the right to, uh, if they have a, a put a, have put together a living will, they have that right to uh, choose that way to die. On the third question, with the issue of marijuana being used as uh, for a medical treatment, I believe that people that are, have glaucoma that use eye drops are using a derivative of marijuana. And I, I believe if someone has leukemia and they <coughs> are using this to ease pain, I, I feel that it's, uh, it's totally right for them to be able to get this and not have to seek a black market source for this. I, uh, I feel that uh, I know doctors that there's been some apprehension about regulating this but I believe that this can be worked out. It's, it's compassionate. Uh, many of us have seen people that have suffered with cancer. I, I saw my mother suffer with bone cancer and it was, uh, it was very uh, difficult to stand by and feel so helpless and the amount of pain uh, that a person with that disease can be in. So anything that would give them some peace in their life. Uh, I love dogs and I think dogs are euthanized uh, much more peacefully than what we uh, humans have to endure. So, but it has to be done through a living will and it has to be uh, documented and put in place. Yeah, for question number one, I would vote yes. I think the small business owners need that information from the major manufacturers so that they can work on our, on our citizens' cars, <coughs> you need to be able to get the best price available. I, I, I think that that's important for our citizens that they can go and get the, the best price for them. Otherwise, they'll be paying outrageous prices by their car. It's, it's important that they get that. Number two, I would vote. Uh, I, I would uh, vote no on that particular question. I, I, I have some concerns about the way the language is written up. Um, I'm not comfortable with it, the way that they presented it. I, I don't think that it was well written. There's a lot of issues that are out there as to who's going to uh, make the final say. And if somebody, they, they don't talk about a lot of these things. You know, say somebody is unable to speak, or well, what's going to happen to that, that person? And who, who's going to make that decision? So I'm very concerned about that. And then the third one with the marijuana, I'm going to vote no on that because I'm very concerned about the, uh, the use and the access of this marijuana. If, if anybody has done any research, you'll see what uh, California is facing right now. With uh, They're facing horrendous problems with uh, more access to marijuana, and then what happens? They, they get sick, they get addicted, and then they need to go for some type of rehabilitation. And who's going to pay for that? The people who are going to pay for that are the citizens. We're going to have to pay for that. And then, just like Mr. O'Day said, it's a penny, it's going to be a dollar. The, the, the taxes just keep coming. We can't pay all these taxes. We have to have a time where we can say no more with these taxes. We are in a recession. Okay, We're in a recession and to go up in the taxes is like throwing gasoline on a fire. You don't do that. Okay, one was a right to repair, correct? Uh, I, I would support that bill. I actually, uh, two years or so ago, filed a bill called Right to Repair Plus, which had a little bit of a different twist uh, on, on what this final bill uh, wound up being. But I, I do think that, um, you know, the bill has come to a uh, um, an agreement between all the parties, and um, I, I'm hoping that you know, there won't be, there may need to be some tweaks. Uh, to this final bill uh, after it's been approved uh, from the final group, so there may be an amendment or two final on that. Um, so the uh, question two, euthanasia, uh, definitely, I, I would support that. 
Uh, I think that it's, you know, certainly don't do that cavalierly. Um, but seeing folks suffer and as long as issues have been addressed beforehand, uh, I think it's, you know, it's the humane thing to do. Uh, number three, uh, I, I support um, with, with some reservation. Um, I think that, you know, on the, on the main end of things, uh, we certainly all know folks that have suffered from cancer and other debilitating diseases where medical use of, of marijuana has really, um, you know, helped them with their pain and helped them get through uh, chemo and radiation and all those other things. But, um, you know, we have an absolute epidemic in this country around um, O opioid, op opioids and opioid addiction. So, you know, um, accessibility, uh, monitoring, we have to do a, a really good job on that. Um, but I think the, uh, the, um, the main end of it sort of uh, outweighs that. Thank you very much.